welcome back everyone i am on the same page while i was offline i did one thing i added two images to this folder inside the e-commerce we have a folder images there are two images one uh, one's name is eight underscore banner and another is logo which we will use in this project and both are gif images basically so we can add that to this thing i mean to this uh, index uh, index file so the first thing is basically to you know to create some CSS styles for these sections that we have or here one is main refer inside that we have more div tags or sections so <coughs> this is the header section then the menu bar and then actually the sidebar and things like that so this is our CSS file basically we have simply added the reset we have copied this reset code from internet and we have just added a sky blue background to the body we will make some space in order to work over here easily so in CSS we can create classes and IDs very simply and also we can target HTML elements directly in CSS as we have targeted body tag body as a an HTML tag normal tag so we can directly write that and can add style to that styles to that CSS styles. Any HTML tag, for example, H1 paragraph tag or table tag or whatsoever, they we can target them directly. But for specific div tags or for specific HTML tags, we can create classes and IDs. Class is always created with dot dot sign. And after the dot sign you can give it any name you want but after that you create the name of the class and add some styles to that you can add that using the HTML class attribute just you have to give the name so simply we will create main underscore wrapper class and two curly brackets are always added in order to write uh, sorry CSS properties we have already added this main underscore wrapper to this div take in the index.php file we'll simply add some uh, properties like width will be 1000 pixels for this element height will be auto auto means automatically it will be going as it is having content and margin will be auto margin auto means it will be centered aligned and will be centered according to the page <coughs> after this we will create another uh, class header underscore wrapper this will be actually a container for the header elements I mean in the header so inside the two curly brackets the two curly brackets uh, are basically the CSS syntax we can write any property for example width should be uh, width is the name of the property and after that a colon and then we add the value for example thousand pixels and then the semicolon means that this statement has ended here and the height will be 100 pixel for the header wrapper or you can very simply say 150 because we have two elements there I mean menu and header itself so and uh, margin will be auto here as well after adding this simply go to index.html file and we will add this class to this div tag class is equal to header underscore wrapper and we will make some space and we will put this menu bar into the header or here that's it remove this text from here 
and also will remove this text from the menu this will be an empty division later on we can add a menu over here inside the header wrapper tag I mean this is having the class we will add two images I am with the help of img tag in HTML its source source means the path of the image will be images logo dot gif this is the image name and one more img tag its source will be something like same images folder and add underscore banner as the name of the image and gif is the extension basically we have added two images I mean these images we have in the folder images now simply we will save this save all come to our br your browser and just refresh this page and you see these all you know very simply but uh, there is a problem oh sorry I once again undo this uh, style.php this is basically style.css file control s to save once again save all to your browser press the page and you will see these two images are coming into the page in the header section but the second image the banner is actually collapsing and not coming exactly uh, how we want basically that is because we have not given the alignment to these images where should they appear on the page so basically simply go to style.css and create an ID okay we have created this classes with the dot sign after the dot we have given the names and then we have called them in the HTML page HTML file so the ID is basically always in CSS ID is created with the hash sign you have to add hash sign and after that give a name whatever name you want for example the logo and then the two curly brackets and inside the two curly brackets you can write the property the CSS property or the style CSS style simply I will say float float is a property that can make work for an, ally, uh, for, uh, an element or HTML take so it can uh, make the alignment of the element to uh, right or left so we will say logo should be left aligned and we'll create another uh, simple ID with a sign called banner and this will be basically float right control s to save and then come to index.php file and simply add ID is equal to logo to the first image which is logo basically and second one ID should be banner that's it save all go to the browser refresh the page and you see they are now you know coming correctly I mean exactly accurately how we want now <coughs> this is this hole is basically the header wrapper section so now we need to work a little bit or these two sections I mean this is basically the content area the right side and uh, the content area and the sidebar so we need to create some styles for this as well this will come below make some more space over here we'll create a class with dot sign content name will be content wrapper and inside two curly brackets we will write the style for it its width will be thousand pixels a same height will be 800 pixel this is just for testing we will remove this height later on because we don't need this this is a fixed height because uh, fixed height we don't need actually and uh, margin will be auto and here we will add some background color pink pink will be the background color after the content wrapper we will create an ID content underscore area inside two uh, curly brackets will it style to it like width 1000 pixels height 800 pixels same as above and uh, we'll say float because 
we have two uh, areas I mean content area and sidebar so one should be aligned left and one should be aligned right therefore we will say the content area will be aligned right and background will be same as pink we have given above that's it and the last the next one will be sidebar ID you created with a sign simply say width width will be 200 pixels for this sidebar and height will be the same 800 pixel and background will be absolutely black and float will be basically left that's it one more we need actually uh, to create as a uh, footer basically footer ID and double curly brackets will say width will be the same thousand pixel according to the whole layout and height will be 100 pixels for this and background will be something like uh, gray color and clear as a property which we will add the value as both clear both means the above both elements HTML sh should be cleared or here and should not inter uh, interrupt this footer that's it we have created just one footer sidebar content area and the content underscore wrapper this this is the class and other are IDs and we have added some CSS properties to it go to uh, index.php file first of all we will add another DI we take to which we will add a class is equal to content underscore wrapper this is the content wrappers main class and we will make some space over here to this too and after this we will save this I mean close this div tag I mean this one the above one is content wrapper the first one is basically a sidebar so we let id that we have already created id means sidebar this is the id that we have created for the sidebar and for the content area we have created id is equal to content underscore area that's it very simple simply go and save all come to your page push it and you see uh, you know very simply you see uh, uh, this is the sidebar and this is the content area things like that but uh, we have also add the footer over here and that's ID is footer for the footer section control s to save come to the browser refresh and you will see this is the footer you can see but actually this this area is collecting uh, collapsing and this is the area for the menu that we have not yet added but we have to add that as well but actually the problem is uh, the content area uh, content area float is right height is 100 oh sorry we have added 1000 pixel height we should not width sorry width width should be 800 pixel here because the total width uh, for about content wrapper here is 1000 so we should divide that on the content area and sidebar because this both elements are will come on uh, the same place so we have given this 800 pixel and this 200 pixel so that hole makes it 1000 width 1000 pixels width so again save all come to the page press it now you see this is basically your footer this is the footer and uh, this is the sidebar this is the basically the content area and this place is for basically this is the header and after the header there will be a menu bar and this is the background the body area I mean the body background So we are using very simple colors combination and only one thing that I need to create over here is the menu so I will just say uh, menu bar this is a class I am creating it with the dot sign I will simply say width should be 1000 pixel and height should be 50 pixel only background should be gray color and color should be 
white that's it control s to save or come to index.php and here we have a very simple div division take can add simply the class to this just for menu bar this class name is menu bar just go to save all and come back to your browser refresh this bow bow we don't see anything anyways menu bar class is equal to menu bar and what is here menu bar let's go with thousand pixels background gray color white and here we have said uh, that okay let me just add something to it this is menu bar control s to save come here press okay text is coming but the style is not applying over here uh, we will just uh, you know cut it from here from the header section we will make it its own place or here after the header this is actually this its own place I mean on different section and we'll simply go here and say that the header wrapper should have only 100 pixel width that's it control s to save come back refresh and you see now everything is working fine this is the menu the above is the header this is the menu this is the content area and this is the sidebar and the footer as over here so basically what we were go we were trying to create is the simplest structure for this whole website the main website where we will be adding some links to this menu and categories and brands to this area and also will be displaying the pro uh, products or uh, this area and some text inside the footer area so that's what we are going actually to learn in next or uh, further video tutorials so we have done this now in next video we'll create the menu for this project and then we will go ahead stay tuned